Hello and welcome to the fifth tutorial of the DMG Tech Show. In these tutorials I've been talking about how to set up your crouton on your Chromebook. So if you haven't seen some of the previous ones and you have no idea what you're doing, it might be better to start with those, which you'll be able to find a link in the description to go to the video playlist and pick where you want to start off with. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to install a torrent downloader. I will not be showing you how to download the actual torrent as you can find torrents yourself. I do recommend going to google.com and just typing in the name and then the word torrent after it and you should be able to find something. But I will show you how to do everything all the way up to that exact point for legality reasons as I have allegedly never done this. So here we go. First things first is you want to go ahead and open up your terminal. When you open up your terminal, you're going to go ahead and type in these commands. Each command you want to go ahead and type in individually and press enter after each line. Uh, press enter or yes if you do have any pop-ups that's asking you to do so. The full installation should only take about five minutes tops depending on how fast your internet connection. If you have a really slow internet connection it could take a little bit longer. Now that's downloaded, you want to go ahead and go into your application menu. Go ahead and scroll down to internet and you're going to find Deluge. Pretty sure that's how you say it. And this is what you're going to get popped up with. This is extremely easy to do, extremely easy to deal with. Uh, what you're going to want to do first is go to search engine, like I say, google.com, bing.com, whatever your search engine is. Type in what you're looking for, the torrent. You're going to then come over to this plus sign, and you'll want to go ahead and add it. Normally when you go to a torrent website, you'll be able to download the torrent file. Not the actual files of what you're looking to download, but a web address to point the torrent downloader into the right direction into obtaining those files. It'll be stored in your download section. So once you have that downloaded, you want to go ahead and go push the plus sign like I've done now, and you want to go ahead and click this file, and you want to locate that download that you have. Do so you see I have one right down here? Again, I'm just doing this for explanation purposes. I'm not actually going to be downloading this. Uh, once you go ahead and pick that, go ahead and press open. It will then pop up in this little area. You'll click add, and your download is going to begin right here. Now, if the lose doesn't work, you want to go ahead and maybe try a different one. So go in, open up your terminal, and type in these commands. Once that is installed, you want to go down back into internet, click on the word transmission, and you're going to have the pop-up. And just like the, uh, the other torrent downloader, you're just going to click your button right here, find your torrent, and again, press enter and start it, and that's all you need to do. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. My name is Jonathan Parkinson, and this has been a proud sponsor of the DMG Tech Show. Thanks for watching.